hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Ms. Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have another show and tell from the great folks over at Arteza. They have sent me over a couple of things to show you guys. I'm so super excited because a lot of this I have never dealt with before. Never ever. So they sent us this month paint. Now I'm not an artist by any stretch of the imagination. Like I can draw some things and make some shapes that look like stuff, but I am not an artist. So I have never really dabbled into paint. I love to paint, can't paint to save my life. So we're gonna try this together and this video is gonna be cut up into snippets so that you can see how the stuff reacts to the different type of paper and what have you. So to get started, we're gonna first go through and show you everything that they sent over. So the first thing is first, because we're dealing with paint, they sent me over their 15 brush miniature brushes set. So you have all the tiny little brushes in there. And one of the little things, I've had this for a little bit now. So like one of the little things have come off of the paint brush, which is fine. And it tells you that they have liners, spots, and rounds in there. It tells you how to use the paint brushes. And of course it has the QR code for to save yourself 20% off if you're not a part of their Arteza club. All right, so we have paint brushes. And so now you're going to need some paint. So then they sent me over this 24 metallic watercolor pastel paint, or not pastel, I'm sorry. Um, the 24 color paints. And I'm going to go ahead and try to get into them to show you what it looks like. I love their little pans of paint. Here it is. Here's a little 24 pan of paint. And I love the fact that it has like, because it turns into a palette. So you just put your thumb in there to hold it while you're painting. If you decide to hold it while you're painting, you open it up. You have some swatching papers and you have them for dark and light, which I thought was really cool depending on what type of paper you're working on. So you have dark and light paper to work with to do your swatches. And then there are all your paints nicely labeled in there. Isn't that gorgeous? And then of course, to take them out, you just lift them up out of here. And on the side there, you can see what color the paint is. And they're all like that, so you can see all the little colors in there. It also has all the colors listed on the box here. So for your metallic, they have silver, Mars, black, lemon, yellow, gold, Aztec gold. That's pretty cool. Bronze, goldy, glowing peach, copper, cherry blossom pink, watermelon pink, indecent, iridescent pink, ballerina pink. Ooh, ballerina pink. So we're going to take and color something with this. I just don't know what yet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to actually stop the video and then make something and show you guys what I make with it. But I wanted to just at least show you before I dive into it because I've been dying to dive into this, this now for a little while now. So there is our pan paint. And of course, I will have all this stuff linked down below with a special bonus. Yes, a special bonus. I'll tell you all about that towards the end here after I show you everything. So that was our half pans of uh, reusable paint when dries on palette. That's the metallic, that's 24 metallic watercolors. Next, we have the 12 acrylic colors. Oh my God, you guys. It has like the light fast and everything on them, which just tells you if it fades in the, if it's in a, like a sunny area. So I do like the way that they have it packaged in the box. Everything nice and organized. This one for some reason is backwards. There we go. So you have all your colors there. So you have pearl, Pearl Space Gray, you have Pearl Deep Brown, Pearl Lime Green, Pearl Electric Blue, Pearl Royal Blue, we have Pearl Pink Tulip, Pearl Papaya Orange, Pearl Canary Yellow, Silver, Aztec Gold, and Gold. And that's how those colors come. And it also is on the side of the box here, all the colors, and it tells you they're light fast. Now we're going to need something to, of course, use to draw something and paint with. So I'm going to show you, there's not enough room over here. I'm going to show you this first. This is cold pressed paper. It's for 
using for your watercolors. So we're gonna open this up. But this is like some really cool paper. Like it, I'll show you. Hold on, as soon as we can get into it. So hopefully you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. With all this stuff going on, why not pick up a new hobby of painting, right? Like I need another new craft. Well, you guess what? I'm going to try it out. Never done it before, but it sounds like fun. So we're going to try it. So we're going to get rid of the plastic. Ooh, okay. So I thought it was a whole sheet of paper. It's not a whole sheet of paper. So these are the canvases. They are glue and they're glued in there. So you can just rip them out when you want to use one. I'm going to try to rip one of these out to show you. So it's kind of like perforated paper. They're glue bound instead of like uh, perforated. And it has the instructions on the back here. So what you do is it looks like you. Tear this part off. Fold this part. Now, I've never seen anything like this before, so I just thought this was the coolest thing ever. So when they said they were sending it to me, I was like, yes, let me show the peoples. So you take off the ends. And you fold it like this. And you fold it like that. You gotta fold in these little squares here. All right. And we're gonna try to figure this out here. We put that in there. Does that fold? Oh my goodness, how do you get it in here? So this is supposed to fold like this. I think this goes in here like this. Maybe? Aha! Got it. All right. That only took us a few minutes to figure out. Yeah. Fold those down in there like that. First, obviously, you would paint something on the front of it, and boom, you have a tiny little canvas. Isn't that cool? Now, I'm going to probably draw something on here. I'm going to flatten it back out, draw something, paint it, and then turn it into a canvas whenever it is dry. So I thought that was just the coolest thing, and now you have your own little canvas that you can work on. And you can work with it flat and then turn it into the canvas so that it can dry. So I thought that was really cool. And they give you 20 of those DIY frame watercolor sheets. So that is really awesome. And they work well, if I remember correctly, with the watercolors. So there's that. And then the last thing they sent us, which I've used these before, and I'll show you. There are many canvases. How freaking cute is that? Now, I have used these before when I made this. Now, each little mini canvas does come with an easel so that it stands up. Ta-da! But I just thought that was incredibly adorable. That is on actual canvas material with wood on the back. Held up real nice. Now, what I used on mine, uh, my tiny little canvas, was actually not paint. Well, it was paint, but... Let me grab it here. It was their 40 uh, bright colors, quick drying, low odor ink, water-based uh, blending acrylic markers. I used these on this canvas, and as you can see, it turned out great. Nice, smooth coverage. Still shiny. Absolutely love it. So, yes, the little water or the little uh, 
canvases are adorable. I loved using them. They're easy to set up. Obviously, you can work with it down like this. And then while it's drying, you can set it up. And what I was thinking about doing was drawing like a day to night scene where essentially you would have all the phases of the day. So morning, afternoon, evening, and then nighttime. And then you would put them together to make like this little montage of the, the day. So I thought that was really cool. And right now my thing doesn't want to stand up. So I'm going to put this away. So there you have it. That's everything that they sent me. Now we're going to draw some stuff. We're going to draw some stuff. But just a heads up, Arteza currently is doing a giveaway Yes, it will be up in the eye of the video. It will be down in the description box below. All you have to do is go over to Arteza here on YouTube, subscribe, and comment on the Easter video that is linked in the eye. And you are then entered to win. Two lucky winners will win a $100 gift card to the Arteza website to shop for $100 worth of free merchandise because you'll have the gift card. So good luck to you all if you decide to enter. Again, just remember you have to subscribe and comment anything on the video for the Easter video that is going to be linked in the eye. So if you would like your chance to enter to win, just follow those instructions. Go over to their website, subscribe to their channel, and go ahead and comment on the Easter video where they're painting the Easter eggs, and boom, you've been entered. And they'll draw two lucky winners on, I believe, April 11th. So with that said, we're going to get to draw it. So I hope you're ready. I'm going to draw two different things. So this, is, this timeline might be broken up or however it's going to be. I'm going to draw two different things and then I'm going to paint them. So are you ready? Let's go.
And there you have it, the half pans of the uh, 24 metallic colors from Arteza, the paint. I did already fold it to make it into a canvas. And again, you just fold down this bottom part here, and then you clip the sides of this into there, and you have your own little canvas. Isn't that adorable? I love, let's use the truck outside. I love the shimmer of the paints on this little canvas. As you can see, there's still a couple of little wet spots. We'll give them some time to dry. I did swatch out my colors before using them, and they all have this really cool iridescent shine to them. So that is the half pan metallic, metallic box of 24 metallic watercolor paints from Arteza. If you would like to get this for yourself to try out, I will have a link to it down in the description box below. Do keep in mind that I am an affiliate with Arteza, so anything you purchase using my links and my code, I will make a small commission, so thank you in advance for that. The new code for this month is going to pop up on the screen for you, and so if you use that on top of using the link, uh, you can save yourself a additional 10% off if there already isn't a discount applied to the item you're trying to get. So with that said, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, folks, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to, to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.